Right in so you can either pay now. <laughs> I know, I know, it seems, I know it seems silly. The fine is 200 New Zealand dollars. apples. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Oh, big, big problem. Um, this particular flight, a Qantas flight from LA to Auckland, is handing out lunch packs or bags, and they've, they've got apples in every one of them. People are just putting them in their hand luggage on the way out. So you've yeah, got a couple on the go. So. The tally keeps rising. The seven, seven look like they've come off the, uh, the Qantas flight. But when it comes to paying a fine, not everyone's happy about it. The, the law does require that I issue the fine. Where's the fine? Sorry? What's the fine? 200 New Zealand dollars. 200? Yep. Technically it is the passenger's responsibility to know what's in their luggage and to make the declaration. The bad news is that there is a fine. Yeah. Okay. So the fine is 200 New Zealand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So what too, I'll do... Too expensive, of course. Yeah, sorry. I'll just get you to read through this. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's not the end of the world, okay? It's... <laughs> so much attention to the yeah. things, and it's on such a long trip. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> I... Hey, I'm not smoking out. Stupid apples. Have hey. a tissue. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. It's a piece of work from the airplane. You can ask the flight attendant who gave it to me. Michelle, I understand. I do understand. But it's like, what? I mean, I don't understand why this is happening to me, my friend. Calm down. There's no... No, I mean, I'd be fine for taking it. I'd be so free that I didn't but, even buy. You know what the, I mean? The problem... I don't understand. The problem I is... I don't want a piece of fruit anymore. Jesus. Maybe you should tell the people on the airplanes not to give out fruit. Yeah, we should. But because we can't. why do they do it right before you land? After you've had your breakfast? We, we don't have any say over what a foreign airline does. They didn't say anything like you have to eat the apple right now. They just said, hey, do you want an apple? So I figured fine, you know. And then when you sign the, the immigration form, you just assume that you're not taking in anything illegal because the airline gave it to you when you're traveling to this country. So yeah, I'm not happy about it. Um, they, they, shouldn't, they should, A, either let you know that you can't bring that piece, that specific piece of fruit that they gave you on your way somewhere. I don't want to do, I don't want to do anything. Can I do nothing? If you do nothing, it gets issued with the district yeah. court. So you're here for longer than the 14 days, OK? Well, I, I did okay. it. I brought in the apple. That's cool. you know what I, mean? okay. I brought in So an you apple. can either pay now. <laughs> I know, I know. It seems, I know it seems silly. I know it seems silly, Michelle. But no, what, no, no, no. What? I didn't, see, that's like some hard for stuff right there. This oh, is yeah. I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, I think Even Singapore money. Airlines is completely to blame. I think, in fact, they should pay me back for the $200 that I'm going to make sure they Write them a letter. In fact, I should be there for, for sufferance. Yeah. I've made you suffer. And your time. And his time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Firm but fair. That's the way it works. And the government's decided that we should be tough, tougher on quarantine breaches. And uh, if we want to develop a worldwide re reputation for being hard on things like this, then it's probably the way to go, because, you know, everybody will tell their friends when they get home, and they hopefully won't bring stuff in that could affect our country.